Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Agix. So today I'm gonna give an introduction to Wi-Fi. What the hell is Wi-Fi? Everybody is using Wi-Fi. Every device is Wi-Fi. Even your refrigerator have Wi-Fi, your toaster have Wi-Fi, even your car have Wi-Fi. Everything is Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. So what the hell is Wi-Fi? What is the history of Wi-Fi? Who invented the Wi-Fi? And so let's get started. Basically, I'm Jimmy Agix. You can for more information about introduction to Wi-Fi, you can check out my te technical article on jimmyageek.com basically this is me i just got got a bold hairstyle and i've got a quite sexy beard to be honest with you it looks really amazing on me so let's get started introduction to wi-fi what is wi-fi and why it is so revolutionary viva viva la revolution i don't know something they said in the bolivian language to be honest with you i know I don't know the exact word, but everything is revolutionary these days. Even the Apple iPhone is revolutionary. To be honest with you, that is not exactly revolutionary, but indeed Wi-Fi was a true revolutionary thing that changed the world, that changed the part of the world. If today we don't have Wi-Fi, I think there wouldn't be any iPhone. To be honest with you, so Wi-Fi is a true revolutionary thing. Is in these I mean say in the top 10 revolutionary things that shape the world Wi-Fi is one of them Wi-Fi basically Wi-Fi is a local area wireless technology which allow electronic device to exchange data wirelessly or connect to the internet using 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz radio frequency and Wi-Fi is a trademark name okay and this trade it is a trademark name so I will tell you who made this Wi-Fi and then who regulate the Wi-Fi let's move on why Wi-Fi is so famous and this is one of the greatest question of all time why Wi-Fi is so famous basically to the guys who are trying to prepare from for the computer a plus or just trying to understand wi-fi or just try to know why they use wi-fi indeed why it's so famous nearly all electronic devices have wi-fi built in which range from laptop smartphone tablets camera toaster to be honest with you i'm looking forward to buy a wi-fi toaster but at this point it's really expensive I will just stick with my regular toaster and then I will put my iPad in front of it and then call it it's a and Wi-Fi toaster. And even some refrigerators. Yes, that is not a job. Indeed, Wi-Fi display weather on your refrigerator. Indeed, yes. Plus, you can check all your Facebook feed and browse the web for cooking recipe or even you can leave not all from refrigerator display which is on the door yes it's a good neat feature when you're going out you can just leave a note that i will back home soon for example i cook the apple pie just take out from the refrigerator and then heat it about that blah 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 but that kind of refrigerator are costing around four to five thousand dollar us dollar to be honest with you I will just buy a 600 700 dollar iPad and just put on the refrigerator or behind it and then I can leave a note on that. Indeed, that's a quite good idea. I even the iPad can do that, or I will just st stick with the old school. I will just make a note and a stick on my refrigerator rather than buying a five thousand dollar expensive refrigerator. But in upcoming year, it will be a normal stand that every refrigerator comes with a Wi-Fi plus with a display. We are moving to the future. History of Wi-Fi, the origin. Basically, what is the history of Wi-Fi and then who built the Wi-Fi and what was the Wi-Fi first product? To be honest with you, we need to trace the origin of Wi-Fi, how the Wi-Fi come to our life, how the Wi-Fi come into existence. 801.11 is is the basically Wi-Fi standard dated back in 1985. Yes, 802. Dot one Wi-Fi is the first Wi-Fi standard ever built. It's, it was built back in 1985 by the ruling of U.S. Federal Communication Commission. Indeed, yeah, Wi-Fi was first built by United States, not by or some guys think Wi-Fi first was first was invented in Germany. That is false. So basically, five Wi-Fi come into existence. Basically, basically the problem is that Wi-Fi is a frequency. Basically, to make legal use of Wi-Fi, you need to uh, set some kind of standard. Basically, if everybody using Wi-Fi, 
basically it can make the aircraft are flying in the airspace or even the military frequency even the the police scanner or that are going to collide and that is going to break the system of the frequency and even it can affect the gps all that kind of thing basically in easy word if you just make if you just use the wi-fi openly without any regulation it will affect a lot of things and then it will make the system crash in your country whether it's telecommunication whether it's the aircraft flying flying over your airspace or whatever so basically u.s federal communication commission basically which had released the ism band for unlicensed use indeed yes so it it was the first time wi-fi was going to be legally used before wi-fi was illegal thing okay wi-fi was an illegal thing it was the first time in 1985 u.s federal communication released the first ism band for unlicensed use so now probably you will be wondering what the hell is ism band let's talk about ism band Uh, I think I forgot the slide about ISM band. Who the hell cares? I say so. Let me just forget the slide. Basic, basically, ISM band is 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 a band which uh, tried to uh, which was used in the medical uh, medical engineering in the medical equipment which have the frequency which try to communicate with that device. Basically, it's a kind of a, st a standard which was basically used in military or in the hospital. Basically, that is ISM band. If you want a more detail, you can go to wikipedia.com. There's a lot of hell of detail about ISM band. So, who is the father of Wi-Fi? There's no solid evidence who really had invented a Wi-Fi. Yes, indeed, it's a mystery till today. To be honest with you, you know what? Wi-Fi is invented by the alien. I'm joking, but to be honest with you, we really don't have any solid evidence who build who the hell built Wi-Fi. But 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 most credit go to Vic Hayes. Who the hell is Vic Hayes? Vic Hayes was a Dutch engineer due to his involvement in IEE. So we are going to talk IEE in a while. Community that created the 80.11 standard for Wi-Fi in 1997. So first Wi-Fi was built in 1985 okay but this guy ha with hires who basically build a standard of wi-fi because to use the wi-fi legally you have to some kind of standard you have to monitor it if you if you just just make the use of wi-fi openly wild so it will get a lot of problem so in 1997 iee stands for institution of electrical and electronics which was found in 1963 today iee it is a world larger association it is a world larger association of technical professional basically ie is one of the world biggest association of technical professional which covers electrical electronic communication computer engineering computers and information technology if you are getting a bsc i mean you are doing the bachelor if you're doing the master even you're doing the phd just try to become a iee if you are doing any kind of degree in this kind of electrical electronic communication or computer engineering computer science or information technology basically my field is information technology back i was in computer engineering that is a story for another day iee -E -E has more than 4000 ie has more than 429000 member around the world the first wi-fi product so in a quick note my wife is doing a phd in computer engineering so i'm a geek even my wife is a geek <laughs> so let's get back to our topic the first wi-fi product under the name of valen the the world first ever Wi-Fi system was invented by the NCR Corporation. Basically, NCR Corporation is a is a is a company which just build device for banking, build build the tele telecommunication, build the security device, build the ATM machine just for the banking. With the AT and T Corporation in 1991, it was a cashier machine. Indeed, yes. So let's summarize the under the name of VLAN. The first Wi-Fi product was a cashier machine built in 1991 with NCR Corporation with AT&T. Wi-Fi certification and Wi-Fi Alliance. Yes, indeed, you need a Wi-Fi certification, but most Chinese mobile, the mobile come from China or tablet, does not have any Wi-Fi certification. Yes, that does not mean 
if you don't have a Wi-Fi certificate, that does not mean it have open range of Wi-Fi frequency which can affect the aircraft flying or affect the affect the GPS or affect the police scanner. No, indeed not. They have to follow. They have to follow a standard. But Wi-Fi certification is a thing that you have built up product. You are you your product is following the procedure, the protocol, the standard. It is not about the frequency which is allowed, but if you don't have money to have a certification you can even just use a logo so wi-fi alliance was created in 1999 because the main problem was back then i i triple e do not test any wi-fi device for complying with their standard to have any wi-fi certification basically it's a technical uh, professional association but they do not provide any wi-fi certification Wi-Fi certification and Wi-Fi Alliance. Today, Wi-Fi Alliance enforces the use of Wi-Fi brand to technology based on the IEEE A02.11 standard from IEE. To certify your device to have a Wi-Fi logo on it, then the device needs a certification which in process requires confirmation to the device. Wi-Fi device certification. IEEE A01.11 radio standard the WPA and WPA2 security standard and the EAP authentication standard but again not every Wi-Fi device is submitted for the certification because of the Wi-Fi alignment may allow you to use the name in your device as a Wi-Fi device as long as it's a Wi-Fi compliance basically Wi-Fi compliance is, is following the procedure it's not about the frequency which is alarm. basically most of China or cheap tablet cheap product out there they never submit their wife their device for a Wi-Fi certification they just use a logo even the Wi-Fi alliance is openly saying you can use the name or the logo of it so that's all for the introduction to Wi-Fi yes that's all indeed wife in short Yes, Wi-Fi is a revolutionary technology. To be honest with you, that's all. So let's summarize. Wi-Fi was invented back in 1985, and then it was a first. There was a first Wi-Fi device available in the market, basically, which was a used for the banking, which was a cashier machine in 1991, which was built by. NCR Corporation and then the AT&T and then the real credit or to the we can say we have a person the suspect the suspect who built Wi-Fi is a, was an Vic Hayes who was a Dutch engineer because the credit goes to him is involvement in IEEE community so yes indeed Wi-Fi is a revolutionary thing so that's all if you like this video please share this video with your friend and then if you really if you really want to read more about Wi-Fi you can go to the gmailgeek.com blog and then you can see it there and please subscribe to my channel if you like this video please like it. if you hate this video please hate it because I'm a geek Bye-bye.